What's up Adorama fans, Cooper Natov here again and today we're going to do a quick overview of Tamron's new 17-70 f2.8 APS-C zoom lens. For as long as zoom lenses have been around, they've always been looked down on by prime lens users and real photographers. This is because in the past, most zoom lenses have had slow variable apertures, cheap construction, and generally just made too many compromises in optical clarity. Those same old pros will tell you that the best camera isn't necessarily the most expensive, but the one you have with you. So wouldn't it hold up that the best lens is the one capable of covering any situation? With Tamron's new 17 to 72.8, I truly think they made the perfect workhorse lens for crop sensor cameras. I'm sure the prime workflow is fine for people who can sit around all day deciding what's the perfect focal length for their shot, but that's not really how I work. How many shots have you missed thinking, damn, if only I had my other lens on? So for me, the best lens is one that's flexible enough to cover any situation. That's why I love this Tamron 17-70. To test this out, my girlfriend, her dog Lupo, and I all went upstate to go hiking. I only have a full frame camera though, so I had to put it in APS-C mode before we went. In addition to versatility, weight is another reason why I really like zoom lenses because I don't really want to be running around with a huge camera bag full of primes all the time. This Tamron lens was perfect for this hike. It was just over four hours long and we covered several thousand feet in elevation and then I never really noticed the camera weight once. Another feature that really shined on this hike was the image stabilization or what Tamron calls vibration control. This lens also has what Tamron calls their RXD stepping AF motor. It sounds pretty complicated, but all you need to know is that it has lightning fast autofocus and had no trouble tracking Lupo as he ran towards me. So we know the main reason people buy zoom lenses is for focal length versatility and this lens really delivers. Check out the difference between 17 and 70 millimeters. One of the main gripes that people have with a lot of zoom lenses is they aren't that sharp, but this one was super sharp even wide open. It did suffer from a little bit of vignetting when wide open, but it's nothing that you couldn't fix in Lightroom really easily. While this isn't a full macro lens, it has a pretty close short focus distance of just 7.5 inches and let me get up close and personal with some crazy icicles. On top of photography, I shoot a lot of video. Most of what I shoot is dock style, which means I don't really have any control over what's happening. That means I need to be flexible enough to deal with the changing environments. I didn't have any shoots this week, so this morning I went down to the local skate park to test it out. If it's even possible, the 17-70 felt even better suited to the FS7. The FS7 is a crop sensor camera, so this lens was perfect. Trying to shoot a skate park is tough because you never know where the next interesting thing is going to happen. So having a versatile zoom lens in a situation like this is exactly what you need. Telling an interesting story in video is slightly different than photo in that you need to recover the same thing several times in wide, medium, and tight. Getting that kind of coverage with prime lenses is tough and you really spend your whole day switching around lenses. Most shoot days are already on a tight schedule so any time you could save is amazing. My other 2.8 zoom lens only starts at 24 millimeters and normally that's wide enough but when you're working with an FS7 that has a crop sensor, 24 ends up being closer to 35 and that's a little too narrow for a lot of wide shots. This one though goes all the way to 17 and is designed for a crop sensor so you really have no trouble getting those wide establishing shots. Vibration control is arguably even more useful when shooting video and it was super helpful today. While I really do love the flexibility this zoom allows for, the only problem I had with it was its focus ring. The focus ring has almost no feel to it and I constantly found myself searching for focus and missing those important shots. Most of the time I think this lens will be used in autofocus mode though, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. On most of my other lenses, the focus ring is in the front and the zoom ring is in the back. On this lens though, it switched around. So there was a couple times when I found myself focusing when I was trying to zoom and zooming when I was trying to focus. Again, if you have the lens for a long time, you'll get used to it. Overall though, between its lightweight, fast aperture, and versatile zoom range, it's a great walk around lens and is almost perfect for nearly every situation. If you're not the kind of person that wants to walk around with 10 other lenses in your bag, you should really consider looking into one of these. That's been a quick overview of Tamron 17-70 f2.8 APS-C zoom lens. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. 
Have a good one.